If you visit Napsan National High School, you might want to bring in with you your swimming outfits. Napsan National High School offers a beach within its school vicinity. Do not forget the Budo Fight setup to enjoy the place with your co-teachers or even your family and loved ones. Enjoy leisure time of soaking in the waters and collecting different kinds of rocks by the beach. Napsan NHS Beach Hello Grade 9 Dream Learners! Welcome to Puerto Princesa Dream TV, your digital classroom. Come, let's get ready to be amazed and unlock aha moments with the Grade 9 Quarter 2 Chemistry Lessons. I am Teacher Anna and I will be your virtual teacher as we explore the wonderful subatomic world. Are you excited? Well, I am. Have a pen and paper ready as we dissect the lessons carefully. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the class of common organic compounds, describe the uses of each organic compound. To check what you already know about this lesson, let's try this activity. I will show you the question and you are going to choose the letter of the correct answer from the given options. You are given 5 seconds to answer each question and when you hear this, that means the time is up. Are you ready? Let's start. Directions. Listen and analyze the following questions and select the letter of the best answer. Write your answer on your paper. Number one, if you want to preserve a fish for a school project, what kind of compound should you use to preserve the animal? A. Acetic acid B. Acetone C. Formaldehyde and D. Methyl alcohol Number 2. What is the common use of ethine? A. Antibiotic B. Artificial ripening agent C. Disinfectant and D. Fertilizer Number 3. To which group of hydrocarbon does the molecule with the structure H single bond C triple bond C single bond H belong? A aldehyde, B alkane, C alkene, and D alkyne. Number 4. How many types of bonds are there in the following hydrocarbon compound? A1, B2, C3, D4. Number 5. 
Which statements are true about organic compounds? Statement 1. Organic compounds contain calcium. Statement 2. Organic compounds contain carbon. Statement 3. Organic compounds can be produced artificially. Statement 4. Organic compounds can be produced by living organisms. A. Statement 1, 2, and 3 only. B. Statement 1 and 3 only. C. Statements 2 and 3 only. And D. Statements 2, 3, and 4 only. Check your answers on the screen. Number 1, C. Number 2, B. Number 3, D. Number 4, A. And number 5, D. Did you answer the questions correctly? If yes, you're awesome. If not, that's fine, because as we go along with our lesson, we will learn and understand more about this topic. Look at the pictures on the screen. You must have consumed or used one of these products or items, if not by someone else you knew. All of these products have something in common. They are mainly composed of carbon atoms, usually combines with hydrogen and other elements such as oxygen, sulfur, and nitrogen. Can you guess what are they? You got it right. These are organic compounds. They are useful, aren't they? In this lesson, you will learn about the uses and properties of common organic compounds like hydrocarbons, aldehydes and ketones, carboxylic acids, and alcohols. These compounds are important and beneficial. Some of these compounds are used to fuel vehicles, light lamps, cook food, disinfect, flavor beverages, and lubricant machines. Every kind of organic compound has specific properties or characteristics. Although these compounds may show similarities in some properties, each of the compound has unique characteristic from one another. Gasoline, kerosene, diesel, lubricating oil, vanillin, acetic acid, and ethyl alcohol are organic compounds with different properties. Gasoline, for example, has a strong odor, volatile, and highly flammable than kerosene. On the other hand, kerosene is less volatile than gasoline, and this property makes it a relatively safe fuel to store and handle. Now let us be familiar with the functional groups of organic compounds. What are hydrocarbons? Hydrocarbons, or the RN groups, are organic compounds that are made of hydrogen and carbon atoms only. They make the simplest class of organic compounds. These kinds of compounds are produced by plants and animals. However, the carbon-containing compounds can also be produced artificially. Hydrocarbons are grouped into families, namely alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Alkanes are a series of hydrocarbons that contain carbons binded in single bond. Its general formula is CMH2N plus 2. Examples, C2H6 or ethane or C3H8 or propane. Long-chain alkanes are found in diesel, kerosene, lubricating oils, and paraffin wax. Alkenes are a series of hydrocarbons that contain carbon to carbon in a double bond. The series has a general formula of CnH2n. Examples C2H4 or ethene. 
or C3H6, or propene. They are used in the synthesis of alcohols, detergents, fuels, lacquers, and plastics. Alkynes are a series of hydrocarbons that contain carbon to carbon in triple bond. The series has a general formula of CnH2n-2. Examples C2H2 or ethyne, more commonly called acetylene, or C3H4 or propyne. Alkynes are abundant in plants, fungi, corals, and bacteria. They are used in classes of aggressive anti-tumor antibiotics called calichiamycin, contraceptive, noritinodrel, and are commonly used to artificially ripen fruits. The next functional group that we will consider is the carbonyl group in which the R group is linked to. It contains carbon to oxygen in a double bond. Remember that carbonyl and hydroxyl are types of carbonyls. Functional groups of organic compounds. Aldehydes are types of hydrocarbons with a carbonyl group. Carbon, double bonded to oxygen and singly bonded to hydrogen, attached to a mother chain R. Formaldehyde or formalin is the simplest aldehyde used in embalming, tanning, preparing glues in polymetric products as a germicides, insecticides, and fungicides for plants. It is also used in drug testing and photography. A mother chain, RN, consisted of a hydrocarbon chain or hydrocarbons, in this case, methane, CH4. Ketones. Ketones are types of hydrocarbons with carbonyl group, carbon double bonded to oxygen, in between two mother chains, R. The most common ketone is acetone, which is an excellent solvent for several plastics and synthetic fibers. It is used as a nail paint remover and paint thinner. Note that in the case of aldehydes and ketones, the prefix meth is replaced by ace, but is not applied and used in case of combining with other hydrocarbons and other functional groups. Carboxylic acids are types of hydrocarbons with carbonyl group, a carbonyl expressed by a carbon double bonded to oxygen and single bonded to another oxygen and a hydrogen attached to a mother chain R. Carboxylic acids are used in several industries such as pharmaceuticals, active for the manufacture of vitamin C-based medicines or food production of soft drinks, manufacture of additives, and other food products. Acetic acid, CH3COOH, and formic acid are the most common carboxylic acids. Alcohols are types of hydrocarbons with hydroxyl OH attached to a mother chain, used as an ingredient in alcoholic beverages, solvents, fuel, and disinfectant. The four most common alcohols, which are also the simplest, are methanol or CH3OH, ethanol, C2H5OH, propanol, C3H7OH, and butanol, C4H9OH. Let us further understand those organic compounds by doing this activity. The following pictures are the uses or applications of organic compounds in everyday life. Identify the class in which the set of pictures belong. Choose your answer from the box. Write your answers on your paper. A. Kerosene, diesel, lubricant oil, paraffin wax. B. Anti tumor antibiotics, artificial fruit ripener, 
contraceptives. C. Soft drinks, vitamin C based medicines, food additives. D. Plastics, detergents, lacquers. E. Acetone, peel and acne treatment, varnish, nylon. F. Beverages, solvents, fuel, disinfectant. G. Embalming fluid, insecticides, drug testing, and photography. You have 1 minute and 30 seconds to answer this activity. Check your answers on the screen. A. Alkanes B. Alkynes C. Carboxylic acids D. Alkenes E. Ketones F. Alcohols and G. Aldehydes. Are these products significant to your personal experience? Great! I am confident that most of you got the correct answers. Very good learners! Now let's move on to the next part of the lesson. Using the diagram flashed on the screen, identify the class of organic compounds present in the following examples. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Methanolic acid 2. Acetaldehyde 3. Ethene 4. Ethanol 5. Ethane 6. Ethine, and seven, acetone. You have one minute and 30 seconds to answer this activity.
Let's check your answers. Number one, carboxylic acid. Number two, aldehydes. Number three, alkenes. Number four, alcohols. Number five, alkanes. Number six, alkynes. And number seven, ketone. Are you having fun answering? Did you identify the compounds given? You want more? Let's have it as your assignment. But first, Let's summarize the important points in this lesson. Organic compounds are compounds that are primarily composed of carbon atoms, which are chemically bonded with hydrogen and other elements such as oxygen, sulfur, and nitrogen. Organic compounds are naturally produced by living organisms but can also be produced artificially. These compounds have their specific uses. Alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes are the three basic groups of hydrocarbon compounds. Alkanes have single bond between carbon atoms. Alkenes have double bonds between carbon atoms and alkynes have triple bonds between carbon atoms. Formaldehyde is the simplest aldehyde used in embalming, tanning, preparing glues in polymeric products as germicides, insecticides, and fungicides for plants. Directions Listen and analyze the following questions and select the letter of the best answer. Write your answer on your paper. Number 1. If you want to preserve a fish for a school project, what kind of compound should you use to preserve the animal? A. Acetic acid B. Acetone C. Formaldehyde and D. Methyl alcohol Number 2. What is the common use of ethine? A. Antibiotic B. Artificial ripening agent C. Disinfectant and D. Fertilizer Number 3. To which group of hydrocarbon does the molecule with the structure H single bond C triple bond C single bond H belong? A aldehyde, B alkane, C alkene, and D alkyne. Number 4. How many types of bonds are there in the following hydrocarbon compound? A1, B2, C3, D4. Number 5. Which statements are true about organic compounds? Statement 1. Organic compounds contain calcium. Statement 2. Organic compounds contain carbon. Statement 3. Organic compounds can be produced artificially. Statement 4. Organic compounds can be produced by living organisms. A. Statement 1, 2, and 3 only. B. Statement 1 and 3 only. C. Statements 2 and 3 only. And D. Statements 2, 3, and 4 only.
check your answers on the screen. Number 1, C. Number 2, B. Number 3, D. Number 4, A. And number 5, D. Congratulations, Dream Learners, for completing this episode. We have unlocked another science lesson that you can apply in your daily lives. Your lesson in your head, making yourself better than yesterday. Isn't it amazing how uses of carbon increase depending on the bonds it formed and the groups of elements it reacts with? Same with people. Our attitude varies depending on what kind of relationship we have established and the kind of people we interact with. Key? Treat people with how you want to be treated. Keep discovering and continue learning. This has been your virtual teacher, Anna. See you again in the next episode of Puerto Princesa Dream TV.